I believe this will be the most important message that you will ever hear and that you may have heard on YouTube. And we're coming out of Revelation and we're coming to the end, which is the river of life, which is the end of the word of God. Meaning that the end of this book is pretty much stating something that I feel that we must all take to accountability upon what it's saying here. And we're going to jump right into it. And it says, I warn everyone who hears the words of this prophecy of this book, if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to them the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes words away from this book of prophecy, God will take away from his share in the tree of life and the holy city, which are described in this book. Now, breaking this down, see, I warn and you notice he said, I warn. So meaning this is basically the, the book in, in the, the Bible is basically giving you a warning to everybody. To the When we come to the end of this book, it is saying that I'm warning you. Now, he's giving us warning throughout the whole book. But see, it goes here. It says, I'm giving you warning. The words of prophecies in this book, if anyone asks. So, so that means that anyone asks to this book, meaning that they're putting in anything that shouldn't be here, even the world. See? And this is talking about nations, see, because they're adding to things in this book. And what I mean by that is that you see the things that the word of God is telling us not to do that they are doing. Even those that come into understanding of what this book is saying, they still choose otherwise, just like Luke warned Christians and so forth. But see, he is saying that I will add to him plagues. So this is why we have plagues. This is why we have plagues within certain um, cities and states and countries and so forth, because now they are doing the things that they shouldn't do what the book is telling that you shouldn't do because now the Bible was given to us for basic construction before leaving earth to tell us, look, these are the rules and the regulations and these are the things that get you to heaven. But yeah, I created the universe and I created all things, but I'm giving you a choice but at the same token, he's going to need you to abide by this book and if you don't, then these are the things that will come upon to you in the prophecies of this book that is described in this book and anyone takes words away from this book, which a lot of people do, that, that he you are taking away the tree of life upon giving to you. So meaning that you won't inherit the kingdom because now you're taking things out of this book for the purpose of yourself. Now that you have misinterpreted the word, now that you're using the word for personal gain, for you are using the word to getting rich and for whatever that they use the word for the benefit of themselves and not to glorify God and not to follow the commandments of the word of God, that now that what is described in this book is what is he telling you that you won't inherit anything because you are not following the instructions of what this book is giving you. So I'm just going to read for the read um, down a little bit. He said, who testified to these things? Yes, I am coming. So if you testify to everything that is going on in this book, that you know that he is coming the second. He is coming a second time. Right. So therefore, it says, amen. It says, amen. Come, Lord Jesus, the grace of the Lord. Jesus be with God's people. Amen. So this is very vital and this is really, really and very important and it should be preached because now it is basically saying, I'm warning you that this is what's happening and if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. So we've been warned all throughout the whole Bible. So now when we come to the end, here's the final, here's the final subject of it, right? Here's the final story and we're saying, look, I warn you, I've told you, this is why this is happening. Do not add, do not take away. This book, is, it stands how it is. You cannot put your own interpretation behind it. You cannot go upon what I'm telling you to do. You know, I've given you a choice. So it's rather, rather you want to follow these things or not, then there will be consequences. You will not inherit the kingdom upon the things that I told you not to do. You must love your brothers and sisters, honor their brothers, uh, um, uh, mothers and fathers. You must uh, be courteous. You must be generous. You know, you must follow the decree. You must follow my son on the way to the father through the son. You must uh, follow the, the Ten Commandments. You must not rob. You must not steal. You must not hate. You know, you must forgive. And all these things that is telling us that we must do. And if you're not following according to what is the Bible is telling you, then now that you're going against what he has warned you from the very beginning. Now, up until the end, he is saying, look, this is what I'm this is why this has happened. This is why there's plague. This is why there's family. This is why this has happened to this person. This is why this is happening to you. This this is why this is happening to your family. This is why you won't inherit the kingdom because of what you have chosen to do with this Bible. The things that you've known about and you went against it, then there's consequences and the consequences is going to cost you and it's going to cost you. Guess what? 
eternal fire, which is hell. And that is something that you do not want to inherit because you want to inherit heaven. So I believe that you should take this message and bind it on your heart. And if you have to listen to this message over and over again, you have to go to this passage and read it. I'm telling you, it's clear cut dry, basically what the Lord is telling you. And I think everyone should take heed. And in the Bible, it says take heed pretty much. So be watchful because guess what? He's coming.